Okay, so here we have a uh, Zoji Roshi hot water boiler. And the problem with this uh, boiler is the following. So if I try to dispense water, there's no water, it just uh, makes noise. And nothing comes out of it. So I'm going to show you why that happens and how to fix that. So first I'm going to get rid of the uh, water. So you can remove the lid like this. I'm going to remove the water. And now I'm going to show you how to deal with this. So the problem is scale. So if you can uh, see inside, um, let me get some light. If you can see inside, there's a lot of scale in it. And some of that scale got into the pump that gets the water out when you want to dispense it and blocks that, uh, that pump. So what we're going to have to do is disassemble the boiler, get to the pump, open up the pump, remove the, uh, uh, the uh, pieces of scale from it, and then put it back together. So this is what we're going to do now. We're not going to need any sophisticated tools. Basically all we need is a screwdriver. So first we put it on the side so we get access to the bottom. And the first thing here there's a screw we need to remove. This holds this uh, metal plate. This has a unconventional um, head, uh, head of the screw, so it's, it's a hexagon with a pin in the middle. So if you have a screwdriver like that, you can use that. I don't have one like that. So I'm just going to use a thin, flat screwdriver and just try to unscrew it like this, just squeeze it in and yeah, it's coming out so there you go that's that screw and then this piece, this other piece is going to come out That's the first thing. So now, this thing has this uh, piece on the bottom, then there's a cover, the top part, and the top part is attached to everything that's inside. So get this thing out. We need to unscrew four screws. So first of all, so here there are electrical connectors to the power uh, connector here. So those two screws we just remove with a Phillips screwdriver. So there's one. That's one. And there's the other. When we're done. They're going back in where they are. So remember, remember where they were. Just make sure you don't lose them. So here they are, so just two electrical connectors. And then you can actually carefully put it upside down like this. And then we need to remove these two screws. So just careful, don't press too much on it so that uh, you don't break the top panel. Just gently unscrew these two. And 
and uh, those come with washers. They don't come off, but just be aware that they're there. So now that we've removed those, this part simply comes off. You can set that aside. So be, be careful. This this bottom actually detaches. So make sure you don't drop it and don't break it. Um, so now we need to get to the pump. So the design is very simple. So that's the water reservoir. So this is the water intake that's at the bottom that is uh, covered by that mesh filter. So this is the, uh, the tube that comes from that water intake. This is the water pump. It's powered by these two wires. And then through this tube, it simply pumps water up and it goes through the lid and into the water dispenser. So it's this pump that gets clogged inside and we need to open that up and unclog it. So um, the pump connects to the, to the body with one screw over there and then these are uh, like rubber or silicone, I don't know, it's like rubber, rubber connectors. So the first thing that I suggest that you do is disconnect this pipe. So just the, to make sure this, this is plastic, it's easy to break. And actually, my pipe has a lot of uh, uh, mineral deposit in it, so I, I'm going to try to remove it and clean it anyway. So just gently, carefully, make sure you don't, you don't break that tube, just to wiggle off this rubber connector. So this is just a shield, we can remove it, put it back in later. So now I'm gonna unscrew this piece, this, this one screw that holds the pipe, that holds the pump to the body of the device. So it's just one screw. a Phillips screwdriver to remove it. There you go. And now we're going to have to carefully wiggle this pump out of this rubber pipe. So it may be slightly difficult. So you can just uh, work your way like this. Maybe Wiggle this pump back and forth a little bit. Like this. So careful that you don't break the electrical connectors too. So there you go. Okay. So now you can see it more clearly. So that's the water intake that comes from here. This is the tube coming from the water reservoir. And this is the back end. This is the electric uh, motor, and then this is the uh, the part where you, where the liquid will will go. So this is a fairly common type of pump. You'll you'll find a similar one in a dishwasher. So if you ever get a pump not working in a dishwasher, you don't need to replace it. Usually those are uh, very um, reliable. If you hear some noise, that means the the motor is working. It's just that the the um, um, the flywheel is clogged and we need to open the pump and uh, get the junk out. So there are three Phillips screws here. So what we do is unscrew those three screws. So there's one. Again, careful not to damage the electrical connectors, so just hold it closely, pay attention to how you're holding that pump. So there's one, two, and three. And then this back end and the front end is going to separate. So 
to simply remove it. Okay, so you can see there's there's uh, uh, junk in it, like the pieces of scale that uh, came from from the hard water. So we can remove this part. This is uh, this is the rotating part. That's what's driving the water. This part also removes. So that's just the electrical part. You can leave it here. And then all of this, all we need to do is just clean it. So you can you can use running water or uh, somehow remove that junk from there. I'm going to do it just a simple cleaning. So I'm going to do that and come back. So I got it all nice and clean. So make sure that uh, this piece is clean. There's a hole inside, so it, 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 it must be cleaned up, uh, cleaned uh, out, and then all of this bend here. Make sure there's nothing that will eventually get into the rotating part. So now we need to put this back in together. So this goes in like this, and notice there's a there's a rubber grommet here. So that's what. Uh, prevents water from getting inside the uh, electrical part so actually it's better to put it in backwards so we put in the rotating part first so there's this pin here goes into the hole in the middle in that part and then this closes it in and then we put it back in here and it has to be in the correct position so that um, uh, this tube is oriented correctly facing the water intake while this will attach to the to the body. So now we, uh, we put those three screws back in. So there's one, just make sure that grommet goes goes in correctly otherwise it's going to leak it's not going to be good because it can actually leak inside the electric motor um, which may destroy the device and it can leak on your counter Put it back in. Don't over tighten, just uh, hand tighten. There's no need to, to go very hard on it. So then I think we first connect the uh, rubber tube. So we can help with the, with the finger like this. So put it together again. Try not to press too hard on the whole thing because it sits on the lid, which is slightly fragile. So we'll put it together. Then there's a, uh, like a little piece that has to go into the hole. And then we use that screw and put it back in. Reconnecting the pump to the body. Again, no need to over tighten. Gently. So now what I want to do is clean this tube. So there's a lot of sludge in it. So I'm going to see if I can just wiggle it off. It just comes out, yeah. So I'm going to clean it and come back. So to clean it, we can use a uh, straw, for example, just uh, release that sludge, and then I'm going to pour some water through that tube, and hopefully that will 
absolutely clean. If not, just uh, think of some way to uh, to release that dirt inside the tube. So I cleaned uh, most of the junk from it, the scale that accumulates over time. So now we're going to install it back. So make sure this piece is also clean. I think it's not too bad. I'm not going to do anything with it. So we just uh, connect it back and then remember there was this uh, screen here. So I think it protects the... Um, it actually it's there for aesthetic purposes because there's a window there so so that we don't see this uh, reservoir and instead we see um, the white background. So to make sure this is fully inserted. Seated. Just be careful that you don't damage the plastic part, it's very fragile and it's easy to damage. So, okay. I'm going to put it in. looks good. And now we just uh, pretty much go backwards and put everything in the reverse order. So first thing, we put this cover on. bottom so follow those wires so they go out all right okay let's try to position them Engage correctly. So, as I said, it's a bit of a hassle. Make sure you don't destroy the thread. Yeah, so I did. I think it caught on. Make sure everything is properly engaged. Yeah, I got this one in. Just make sure you don't 
uh, strip that thread. Um, okay, and then we need to connect the two wires. So all you need to do is position them properly and get them in place. So I'm going to use pliers to position it while holding the wire with my finger and then catch it with the screwdriver and secure it to the electrical connector. So you want to tighten them properly to make sure they stay in place because, well, otherwise you can get sparks or even worse if it disconnects. It can actually short. Yeah, so it's slightly challenging to put it in place. But not too bad. So there you go. This is the second one. Again, tighten properly. So then finally, you take this cover and put it in place. And you use this weird screw to secure it. And I'm just using a small flat head screwdriver, not using this. I don't have a screwdriver that can handle the spin in the middle, but you don't need it. So we're done. I'm just gonna put water in it and we'll see if it's working. Alright. So Plug it in. You don't need a cover to try it. So unlock and press dispense, and there you go. It's working. So this is how you uh, fix the clogged pump on the Zojirushi hot water boiler.